What's up everybody, it's your man Jay Filt from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com and if this is your first time watching any of my videos, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm bringing positive energy, so thank you for watching. Today, we're going to talk about the Velocity Switch Technique, so let's get into it. <laughs> So the goal is to play three sounds on one pad. Right now I'm working with some bass sounds. Let me play them for you. Here we go. Here's one sound. Here's another one. Here's a third one. Okay. Three bass sounds. Now what I want to do is I want to play all three of these bass sounds on one pad. So essentially I'm going to be layering. But the difference is, depending on how hard I hit the pad, will determine which sound comes out. Okay? So let me show y'all how to set this up real quick. You're going to go to your um, assign page, right? Okay, so it's automatically going to be on, let me see. It's, this is what it's going to look like when you first come to it. It's going to be on normal. But what we're going to do is, instead of sign mode, we're going to use VELSW. I think that stands for velocity switch. If I'm wrong, please someone correct me. <laughs> anyway, you see these numbers? If over 44, if over 88. This has to do with the the uh the amount of velocity that comes out. In other words, if I press a note over 44 like say my the the how hard I hit it is like a level at, at uh 50 then it would it would uh play a sound whatever a sound that I assign and then if it's over 88 it'll play another sound with whatever sound that I assign okay so anyway we're going to assign one bass over here which was 69 and then another one was 81 okay so let's go back 54 is the original so all you gotta do is type in whatever number your note is so 69 on one enter and then 81 was the other the little bass slide so now I just assigned them so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change these numbers if over 44 and 88. I'm going to, you know, and this is just trial and error, okay? I find that 71 works with me. It's fine. 70, 71, something like that. And then this one, 125. That means I'm going to have to bang it real hard for the other sound to play, okay? 125 was the slide bass note. In other words, uh, no, I'm trying not to confuse y'all, but anyway, 81, which is the one bass note, and then 60, 69 was another bass note. All right, this was my first, if I play the first note, which was this one, watch this. I remember I had two other notes, octave higher and then the slide. I just assign both of these to this. So depending on how hard I hit it, see that? Soft, a little harder, and then real hard. Is that not crazy, man? <laughs> so why, why do this, JJ? Why do this? All right, now check this out. The reason is, well, I just want to. I feel like it. <laughs> no, nah, but look, this is a way to kind of compress or what's another word? I can put more sounds on a single bank this way. Okay, so that way you don't have to switch from bank C and bank D, bank A. If you have a whole ton of sounds and you just want to work with one bank without having to switch over, this is a way. Check this out. If you do this, really, you can do three sounds per pad. Okay, so each bank is what? 16 pads. You can do 3 times 16, which is what? 48, if my math is correct. 48 sounds on one bank. Really? 
and I'm just working with three sounds right now on one bank. So use this to your advantage, man. You could do this with any sound you want. If you just want to play soft and one sound come out and then play a little harder, another sound comes out. Play real hard, another sound comes out. That's what I just did. I was just using bass sounds in this case. So let's play around with a beat. Y'all know how I do. Let's go. That means if I went to this pad and I had a like, you know, which is another bass sound, I could add like a string or a brass or whatever, a sample, and have that play depending on how hard I hit. It, same thing for this, same thing for this, same thing, and so on and so forth. So use this to your advantage. Try it out. Have fun. On the Renaissance, I know you can even do more than that. You can do more than three per pad. So, I mean other drum machines that can do it just try to you know use this technique man try it out and see how you like it let me know what y'all think all right so if you like the video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe if you haven't already that way you'll be updated on everything that i come out you'll know and um i just thank y'all for watching i want to ask you guys a question you know we all beat makers what got you into music are you a DJ? Are you a musician? You have siblings, whether it's your parents, your mama, whatever, you know. Just let me know. Write it down in the comments, you know. I want everybody to start getting to know one another. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. This is this is I, I consider this a family environment for us for the beat making community. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, me, I got into music because of my doggone mama. She played the piano. So I couldn't help it. There was a piano in the house. I tampered around it. I tampered around it as a little kid. So that's how I got into it. If you want to know a little more about me, you can check the bio, by my bio. Anyway, check me out on all the, the social media. Follow me. I got my links below this video. Yeah, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. I got a lot of stuff coming, y'all. Stick with me. I love every last one of y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.